So I identify as Christian, but I don't actually think Jesus rose from the dead or anything like that. You're not actually a Christian then. What? You can't say that. How dare you challenge what I identify as? If I identified as a bird, would it be a good idea for me to go jump off a building and try to fly? No. Exactly. And that's because there's something called truth. Just like there are objective truths that separate the definition of a human from the definition of a bird, there are also objective truths that separate the definition of a Christian from a non-Christian. For example, the Bible says that a true Christian must believe that Jesus rose from the dead and that he's the son of God. Well, who gave you the right to set the limits of what defines a true Christian? I didn't set the limits of what defines a true Christian. God did in his word. I'm just communicating what God clearly states in the Bible. Look, I just don't think there's any one specific definition of Christianity because religion can mean whatever people want it to. That's literally nonsense because if there are no definitions for anything, then communication and rational thought itself would be impossible because nothing would have any meaning. Whatever. I just can't stand when you Christians aren't inclusive. A Christian is someone who follows Jesus, and Jesus said the exclusive statement that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Because Jesus taught that there is only one path to salvation, it would actually be unloving to promote the delusion that someone can legitimately call themselves a Christian without holding the essential Christian beliefs. So you're saying that it's actually loving to be exclusive about the definition of a Christian because the truth is that if someone is not actually a Christian, then according to the Bible, they're not saved? Exactly. The great thing is that Jesus also said that the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. See, Christianity is actually very inclusive in one sense in that it invites everyone to accept the gospel of Jesus and get saved. However, it's the path to salvation that's exclusive in Christianity because Jesus taught that there is only one way to get to heaven.